The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. Even the foreigner, not belonging to your people Israel, but coming from a distant country, attracted by your name, for they too will hear of your name, of your mighty hand and your outstretched arm. If a foreigner comes and prays in this temple, listen from heaven where you reside and grant all that the foreigner asks of you, so that all the peoples of the earth may acknowledge your name and, like your people Israel, revere you and know that this temple which I have built bears your name. And our response is taken from Psalm 117. Alleluia! Praise Yahweh all nations. Extol him, all peoples, for his faithful love is strong and his constancy never ending. And our second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. From Paul, an apostle appointed not by human beings, nor through any human being, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia. I am astonished that you are so promptly turning away from the one who called you in the grace of Christ and are going over to a different gospel. Not that it is another gospel, except that there are troublemakers among you who are seeking to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we ourselves, or an angel from heaven, preaches to you a gospel other than the one we preached to you, let God's curse be on him. I repeat again what we declared before. Anyone who preaches to you a gospel other than the one you were first given is to be under God's curse. Whom am I trying to convince now? Human beings or God? Am I trying to please human beings? If I were still doing that, I should not be a servant of Jesus Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When Jesus had come to the end of all he wanted the people to hear, he went into Capernaum. A centurion there had a servant, a favorite of his, who was sick and near death. Having heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him to ask him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him, saying, He deserves this of you because he is well disposed towards our people. He built us our synagogue himself. So Jesus went with them and was not very far from the house when the centurion sent word to him by some friends to say to him, Sir, do not put yourself to any trouble because I am not worthy to have you under my roof. And that is why I did not presume to come to you myself. Let my boy be cured by your giving the word. For I am under authority myself and have soldiers under me and I say to one man, go, and he goes. To another, come here, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these words, he was astonished at him. And turning around, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found faith as great as this. And when the messengers got back to the house, they found the servant in perfect health. The Gospel of the Lord.